even though it's literally the afternoon it's it's been a hot freaking morning okay i was gonna film pretty much in the morning and then um i realized that my camera was not charging the entire night so it was dead so i did take some clips off my phone but i am so excited to vlog i took a like month honestly about like a two month break just because there's a lot of stuff that i had going on a lot of stuff that i had to take care of so i kind of wanted to pause take a little break but it is now kind of like the afternoon so we're gonna do some shipment and then i want to take you guys thrifting like a little mini come thrifting with me honestly i'm probably gonna do it off my phone just because i'm not gonna be going to a goodwill i'm just gonna be going to like the little mom and pop thrift stores all the stores that i show on my TikTok that I don't show on here. So let's do shipment first so we can take that to the post office before we go thrifting. Side note, I know I talk about this all the time. I'm always like, oh my gosh, I have way too much inventory. But guys, this is the last inventory that I still need to photograph and then I am done. Which I feel like could seem like a lot, but honestly, this is like nothing. I had damn near like 400 items that I needed to photograph so that's also one of the reasons why I wasn't vlogging I was just kind of like in the zone I mean I've literally said this like 500 times but just because I really really want to kind of keep my inventory more selected like more curated kind of like towards one aesthetic but not really I looked at my page last night and I don't like having like a bunch of things listed at once i mean i don't know about you guys but when i shop i like it when it's not as many options i mean like for example walking into forever 21 literally like freaks me out like there's way too many things going on same when i online shop like i like having like not that many options um don't know why i just gave you guys that spiel i also don't know if i've mentioned this but i finally got a new coat rack where i could like do the accessories on here as well i got this from lowe's honestly it was pretty pricey i'm not gonna lie just because i've gone through three coat racks and every single one has broken for the weight like it lean and this one was starting to lean which was like freaking me out so i literally got like these things from lowe's and had it clipped so if it I mean, it already was like starting to tilt, so that way it's like kept upright. And now I don't, I'm not gonna feel paranoid if this is like gonna topple over or something because literally the amount of times that the clothing rack has fallen on me and has broken is just not okay. Almost have my packages ready, but I want to show you guys my little Cricut. I'm literally obsessed with this thing. It is like my pride and joy. So I tried to actually order one on Walmart for this specific color because the ones that they had, I didn't really like the colors. And the website on Walmart was not letting me buy it. Like I tried it three times. I tried the next day. It wasn't working. So I was like, okay, it's not meant to be for a reason so a little light bulb went off in my head and i was like why do i not check facebook marketplace and lord behold i found this one in the most prettiest purple color i can't remember how much i think it was like 180 i'm not really sure these are already like 200 dollars. so this is the cricut explore air 2 i literally do it off the floor right now because i don't have a desk big enough to do anything so i kind of just have my little setup right here but it also came like the lady that was selling it to me she said that her daughter bought it and literally never used it so it was stored in the garage so it's technically brand new it came with all of these tools which these are already
already like $24 alone. And it also came with a, let's open this up. I need to level it, but are you not dying? I am obsessed with this thing, but it has these compartments and it also came with a big one or actually, no, I think I'm lying to you. I may have bought this, did I buy this? No, 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 no. So it came with actually this big one too. And it came with a little pen and it came with all of this. So if you're a Cricut person, you know how expensive like this stuff tends to be. So the only thing I ended up buying brand new is I went and got these two things, which is like, let me know if you guys would want like a more in-depth tutorial of like how I use my Cricut. Well, I'm going to show you guys something really quick, but I ended up getting these two. It came in a two pack and then this Thing. and also I feel like I should set you guys up this lady just had a bin worth of stuff that she just like gave away with a bunch of like art stuff in there as well but I ended up donating a lot of it just because I wasn't gonna use it at all like it was a lot of stencils and things like that I did get this uh Cricut infusible ink transfer sheets because I want to start making like cool little shirts and stuff and James used to do vinyl and graphics like motocross stuff so he had an old heat press so he actually ended up bringing that from his parents house so now I have like this really like sick ass heat press oh and then I also did get I forgot black infusible ink as well picked up like two blank sheets of um, blank sheets of t-shirts a brand new just like a baby one because I want to make like something cute you guys know I love sassy sayings and I might start selling them I might not the only problem is with the infusible ink this is probably doesn't have like a lot and this is pretty pricey so there would be pretty much no profit the vinyl itself is also pretty expensive but why I'm showing you guys this is the girl had a lot of free vinyl like this stuff at Joann's is expensive and it literally came like she had so much like holographic vinyl regular vinyl again I'm so sorry if none of this makes sense if you guys don't know what a Cricut is but it is so fun I'm gonna show you guys the little tutorial but I made James this little thing to put on his computer. It did come with like a lot of transfer tape and then um, this, oh, this premium shimmer vinyl actually Hannah and Julie gave to me because it was from my birthday when they did like a bunch of Playboy things. So I've been doing these little thank you cards. I wanted to order like a cute little postcard one from Vistaprint, but they do tend to get expensive. So I've been doing these little cutouts because I did end up kind of revamping my Depop page in a way and doing like different backgrounds so again I want it to kind of have like an aesthetic and this I feel like kind of matches my logo as well so I thought these were pretty cute and for Christmas I want to do a glittery one so the other day well when I was packaging orders I was doing a blue one so I'm going to show you how I do this with this as like my little thank you cards for the shipment that i'm gonna do right now okay so i just used my old laptop and i have my little cricut explore thing again i don't want to go into depth but i just have all of this and i'm gonna go ahead and click make it and this thing right here as you can see it has the measurements for you so i'm gonna go ahead and just line it up with exactly how much I have left. So as you can see, I have this card stock and what's nice is it literally lines it up for you so you can kind of go ahead and see how it says the 12 and then on the program, it also says like that. So I can kind of just line these up according to this and it's gonna cut it for me. So I'm gonna end up installing it this way because as you can see, I have them lined up three right there and it's gonna perfectly cut three for me normally I could do it all at the same time but right now I'm kind of running out of time look at thrift stores are gonna close so I'm gonna insert it right here so what I do is on this little Cricut machine it tells you like what you have so technically this is cardstock but we are gonna be doing a custom so I switch the dial to custom and then it takes you again to this page and from here I could literally just search the material but as you can see I already used glitter cards stock so I'm gonna go ahead and click that we're gonna continue and then we're gonna load our tools I have done the mistake of thinking that I loaded it and it didn't and it was a complete disaster so I'm gonna click it again and then once again see how that actually brought it in now it's loaded and all I press is this button right here right and it's just gonna make it for me now I just realized as I'm doing this that I forgot to set the actual um, cut 
because you could do like hard cut, default cut, or light cut. Just it's like how hard it's gonna penetrate the cardstock. And I did it hard last time when I did the glitter, and it was actually a little bit too hard that it pressed on this mat. So um, I should have done the default one, but I don't know if it was set to default. I think it was. Also, how cute is it? Because it tells you the actual percentage. You probably want to pull away in a certain direction, but I don't really care right now. I'm not a professional. I don't care. Look how cute that is. And then I just write my little thank you on the back and stuff and stick it in with the packaging. Here is our current fit. We have um, literally bright pink Crocs that match absolutely nothing, but we do have a cute little Libra charm. These nude velour sweats that literally are no brand, nothing. I always say that you can have like a BCBG, Juicy Couture like type of top on top, but no no one really cares about the pants and you can get any color pretty much at the thrift but this bcbg one i really like this one because it's like super slouchy and we have this leopard purse and then also i went to spencer's the other day i literally went to the mall for the first time in like years with hannah and they have this playboy bunny necklace and i'm literally obsessed with it let's see if i can turn it around and show you guys like up close but it is seriously so cute i am absolutely in love with it it's like my new everyday jewelry and i just love how it looks like you know with the rhinestones and then of course a brown headband to match because my bangs are always in the way and yeah that is our little fit of the day oh also i never showed you guys this but i ended up redoing the bar actually we have these lottery tickets that we're just gonna put right there but if you guys can remember i used to have this white bar thing that i spray painted of course this chandelier is going to be going up in the dining so it's just there for now but i found this at the thrift store for literally nine dollars but it was half off so it was like four dollars and fifty cents and i think i just like the look of this better i don't want to show you guys is the rest of the kitchen because it's really messy but like you know it matches with like the black and gold of this a lot better and it just feels more cleaner for me i mean i feel like a cute wine fridge would go good right there you know because the plug is right there and stuff but we have that situation and then what's nice is if we run down our little hallway we have a spooky kitty right there on the couch but I ended up putting it right here above the TV and I love it so much more than what this used to look like. I usually have my switch right there, but my switch is currently by my bed. We have, you know, a couple of Playboys right here, um, you know, just some of my favorite ones, but I love the look of this more. It's definitely more practical, like down here. I have a lot of my books and then I just put the record there so it's just not all like white because it would have been just too much i don't know if that made sense but you know we have the playstation records um things like that and i love it so much more i do want to get a frame for this tv like maybe a gold so it looks a lot better and fyi this is the heat press that i was talking about that he brought like it is some hardcore stuff so i gotta figure out how to use that and i feel like it'll be so fun to make sure it's okay but how cute are these? Are you kidding me? They literally fit me, but they're a little bit tight because they are a kid's size. So I don't know if I should get them because they are $10, but they're in like perfect condition. And they're sparkly. Again, they're a little bit tight, but this is like a cool version of mugs. I need to stop with the mugs, but how cute is this one right here? I'm going to put it back because I literally do not need anymore but they always have so many good ones like look at this do i need it no not to be dramatic but are you kidding me literally my size the most part i don't own any red shoes like red booties um aside from my cowboy boots but are you kidding i'm literally scoring with the shoes today their purses area is literally so hectic right now but they have this winnie the pooh one that i think i'm gonna leave behind but it is sparkly and then it also does come with like an extra one which i think is cute but this is one of those things where i think i'm gonna stop doing the whole Disney thing, but I did find this. Look how sick this is. And also this bag. This cow neck, like little polka dot slip dress is so cute. Also, I'm not really sure about this yet, but I really liked the color of this. There's this Harley tee, but it's pretty like basic 
not even anything on the back. This jacket is such a serve. I am obsessed, but I have like 500 jackets that look like this. Before I give you guys my haul, I am just cooking up or heating up some risotto. I know it looks disgusting, but it is literally so freaking good. I made risotto for the first time last night, except I didn't use white wine because I did not have that. But this was kind of the base of it. So I get these from Costco. It is this quinoa and brown rice. So I use that. And then, I'm very hectic, we're running to the kitchen. I mean, we're running to the fridge. We're running to the fridge. I used a little bit of this soy um, silk milk just because that's literally all I had. And then I did some mozzarella, kind of mix that in with like garlic salt. And then of course I did some zucchini, mushroom, and a little bit of broccoli. Now this might be gross, but I did actually end up putting tuna in it, which I should have showed you guys that before we are running back. Let's run back and show you the tuna that I use. Again, I get this from Costco as well. It is literally so good. It is this safe catch ahi wild yellowfin tuna. I kind of mixed that in and heated it up. So it's like a nice warm risotto and it's so good. But James doesn't like like canned fish. I mean, I feel like a lot of people don't, but honestly, this one is really good. So instead what I did is I used the Morning Star little morning patty type things and I kind of just chopped it up into like meat pieces and mix that in so it was very meaty and now my kids are feasting why did i say kids my cats why are your bowls not in place so yeah anyways i'm gonna eat that and then i will give you guys my haul i have my box the bag of all the stuff that i got this photo i was this close to not getting it and then i picked it up and i felt how heavy it was it's actually 2004 i think from target like that is so freaking old i am obsessed with this this was 11 dollars. it is literally perfect i'm going to show you guys where i'm going to put it i have the perfect spot it matches the tones because my kitchen has like some red tones then of course i showed you guys the red shoes i don't want to really be like repetitive with that this, this is giving me like very much early 2000s like i know i say that about like a lot of pieces but this specific purse like i don't know if it's like the way it feels or like the way that it even like sits it just something about this again with like a juicy tracksuit would look so freaking cute i mean i literally wear a tracksuit like every single day it is a little bit messed up like i don't know if you can see that but this over a dress would look so freaking cute this mug i'm not sure if i showed but i have a cat mug that looks similar to this but this one says this is my mug and then it has a cat and a dog in western wear and then it just says hands off Again, I am a sucker for mugs. I know I said I have too many, but if I see a really, really cute one that I must have, I must have this. Pretty much, like, two months ago, I went to this, like, antique fair thing, and I saw a scale there. It was way too expensive. I was like, I cannot justify the money. And, of course, I found one. If you guys don't know, I am a Libra, and I'm not crazy about this part right here for some reason it kind of reminds me of like a hookah or something so i'm actually gonna end up spray painting this gold as well this is amazing i love it okay i am such an astrology whore i thought i killed it with these shoes look at these these literally fit me perfectly. They are Skechers. I'm not sure if this is like late 90s or early 2000s or what. The color combinations on this. Imagine this for Valentine's Day. Honestly, these will probably be my Valentine's Day shoes. Like even the back, you can still see that it says Skechers. So it has like minimal wear. This cow print bucket hat literally looks brand new. Like it wasn't even used or something. And it's cool because it's reversible. So you can just wear it on the black side and maybe like have it lifted up like this. Okay. Okay, that looks kind of dumb but you guys know what i mean this leopard one i feel like this might be too big on me not sure i have to try it on so i might put this up on my depop but again i love a good leopard silk dress and honestly this with these shoes would be so 
freaking cute too many bags look at this gold one i loved the chain on this i'm really into like every time i go to target i always see these bags and not these bags but like the bags that have the chain on them and i just love them i love the i don't know if you can tell on camera but it has like this not yarn material but very like canvasy like and i love a good mini bag for going out and then the same kind of style i can't decide if i'm going to keep this for myself or not just because i have so many black bags it's ridiculous but this nine west one again very simple mini like fits right under the armpit it's just a good going out bag so this is a tommy hill figure i think halter top i'm not sure how it's gonna fit me um it might actually be too big I'm not sure it like ties in the back but you'll see it in the try on haul picked up a mariah carey cd the christmas one duh obviously i could have it on spotify but there's just something about having like physical cds like i'm still someone that loves to listen to cds when i'm in the car i got these overalls maybe james will want them that's originally why i got them so maybe if he doesn't i'll put them up on my depop not really sure but i thought it was cool because it has like royal mail I don't know there's just something really cool about these so yeah with these booties again don't want to be repetitive you saw them i got them i had to and these pants these would have been great to have like during the halloween time so i might be posting these on my depop might not i'm not really sure why i got this shirt if i'm being really honest but it is this zebra one and it has this like built-in bra i might be able to take it out but i'm not really a fan of shirts that have like this tightening thing but i didn't think about it i could actually hike this up and make it like poofy in a way i don't know if that makes sense i mean you'll see it in the try on but i really loved the sequence throughout the top it's just a fun going out party top this tommy hill figure pe shirt i love this i have a similar one up on my depop currently but i love these type of tees they just really give me that 90s feel love a good collared black sweater but this had the lines on it which just gives me the ultimate preppy vibes netting tights with maybe a plaid skirt and chunky docks would look so good every night is ladies night I'm always finding tees like this. I don't know whose mom or whose boutique is always getting rid of these rhinestone tops, but this is by far one of my favorites that I have found because they usually always say like wine night. It's always something about wine, but this one, I mean, hello, it has a Cosmo on it. Giddy up cowgirl. You guys know I love these type of tops. I raved about them on and on in my last haul, but this is a plus because it's a cowgirl one. Very much Devin Carlson vibes with this mini tank. I just think... I love the like all like kind of like Disney Channel laid back look in the early 2000s where you would wear a shirt like this with just like denim flare jeans and kitten heels and that was like going out like that was the extra. And I think I showed you guys this snakeskin bag right here. I know I did. And did I show you guys this? <laughs> I can't remember. This little cowl neck polka dot dress. Yesterday, I kid you not, this was literally yesterday. I was like redoing a lot of like the Depop stuff in that room and I noticed that my shoe rack broke. It started leading. It did the same thing as the racks because of the weight. But guys, I found this for $2. $2. Do you see this? This thing was $2. It has three. It's so long. It's literally perfect. So I am, I literally manifested that. Like I was honestly, it broke yesterday and I found it today. So that was a plus, but yeah i don't know what we're gonna do now okay i still have to post a lot of depop stuff and do all of that so i don't know how long this video is i do want to show you guys like my nighttime skin routine and maybe like some updated hair products that i have been loving so we might do that also before i get in the shower i don't know if i showed you guys this yet but i found this little tray at the thrift store for i don't even know i think it was like five bucks something like that and i decided to find display products in my bathroom it makes me use it way more than just like having it be in the drawer i ended up picking up a couple things from sephora and i just wanted to share with you guys this thing is freaking bomb i don't keep it in my shower because i don't wear heavy makeup all that often anymore um obviously because i'm not really going anywhere so i kind of keep it here because i think it's pretty and i love it it's a very like it's literally a bomb but it takes off every trace of makeup so that way i'm not 
uh, washing my face 500 times to get the makeup off and then this I have laid out because I keep my face masks in a separate drawer in the other bathroom but having this here I have been like I literally just got this and I used the tiniest drop and you can see how much I have used this was like a TikTok viral thing just bought it because everyone raved about it and it just makes me feel good I literally use this like one to two times a week and literally as soon as I get out of the shower I immediately go here pat my face dry because you don't want your face to be wet and I put this on and you can't have this on for longer than like 10 minutes and I do a very thin layer and boom it literally works like freaking magic also some Sephora things that you might be interested in because they have they have like a lot of holiday stuff they have the Olaplex set for like 60 bucks for the shampoo conditioner um this itself is like 20 something dollars and then also the oil and I have been using this again with my blonde trying to keep it as healthy as possible so I have been using this mask I just take this in the shower and then I put it back here because I think it looks pretty and then also what else can I show you guys I mean look at how cute the perfumes look right there I love it but this hair oil Hannah and Julie also got me for my birthday I know I feel like I'm just showing you guys everything that they got for my birthday but this also came as a set because I have been wanting to try this hair oil for so freaking long and I love how sexy it looks with everything so they got me that set it comes with the shampoo and conditioner also but I keep this one displayed out and then also of course the Olaplex bonding oil I have my little clips here and yeah is that all I wanted to show you oh this again is what I'm using when I am taking the shower I have my little Olaplex shampoo and conditioner I've been using and then of course you guys know I use my Lucetta purple shampoo and this why am I showing you guys some shower favorites why not literally cannot live without this this is my favorite exfoliator in the world it smells so good I am obsessed with it and I also use this hair mask on and off just depends on my mood again this came in that set and then another thing that I have not shown you guys is this Believe me when I say I am obsessed with this. This has a minty smell, which I'm not really too fond of, but I was literally stalking Sephora's entire page trying to find like the best scrub, and this is what I came. Okay, this, absolutely love it. I have literally been searching for a good exfoliator for so long, and this one is just so gentle. It literally wakes you up if you use this in the morning. Obviously, don't exfoliate your face heavily every single day but you want to do it every so often to just get the dead skin cells off and things like that so new skin can grow I don't know if I said that right don't listen to me anyways just wanted to share this with you before I hop in the shower of some of my shower favorites because why not this thing is bomb literally obsessed <laughs> 